It's that time again. For the first time, it is episode one of Chaotic Wrestling, and we are at Cold Fury 3. Now, I do still plan on doing sort of a more of a descriptive episode about Chaotic Wrestling and elaborating a little bit more on the history of this company to give those of you who are curious about this company a little bit more of a character place or character uh, a setting but either way it's time for the first show, and unfortunately, we already have, uh, negative incidents. That was easy. But also, unfortunately, we have people who aren't here, more than likely, because of obligations to Ring of Honor. And I'm going to look, and it's going to say... Ring of Honor has a show tonight. Pro Wrestling Zero One has a show tonight, too. So it could be either one with Steve Carino, but I'm going to say with Lacey, Jay, Mark, and John Walters that it is Ring of Honor. And I know, I know, I know that's my fault for not looking before I booked it. And, well, basically putting the card on Letting the card happen. Holy moly. Do I have a lot of fucking heels. A lot more heels than I do baby faces. Wow. Um. Well. Let us go Of course I, I, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I thought I was prepared for the show, but looking at things and, you know, seeing how things are working out now, it kind of shows that maybe I needed a little bit more time. Maybe I needed a little bit more time. And also looking at things, it looks like I'm going to be using um, Don Callis as an agent because to me it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people capable of coming on and being a road agent. Because I'm not going to pay Salvio Vega $1,400 to come on when he's a mediocre road agent to begin with. I'd rather pay him that to come on and be a road agent. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so basically... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pencil in some people to work a tournament tonight for the world title 
and the world title is going to be decided. The mid-card title is going to be decided. But other than that, there will not be a tag team match tonight. And the reason why there will not be a tag team match tonight is simply put because I don't have the talent on this show to do it. Because my only babyface tag team, the Briscoes, isn't here. You know, I knew that the roster was not full of babyfaces. I knew that. But I didn't know that the roster was not full of baby faces to the point of where I only had three of them. That, my friend, is a little bit ridiculous. That I did not even know that I had that low of a number of people or that little amount of people to, um, to help. You know, the match of future TNA talent with Rob Echoes and Kenny King. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put together the the um. Mm, what the hell is the name of the title? Um, the, uh, the, um, New England title. I'm trying to figure out the best way to book the New England Championship into this show um, because I would say it's about a mid-card title so but I don't know who I should put in the match or how I should book the match so I think what I'm going to do is a triple threat match And it will be Brian Logan. And it will be... Seeing a tag team? No. Well, he is, but the guy's not with us. Seeing a tag team? No. But I kind of want to book him because of my because of the added um gimmick that I have him working well for those who might not be aware Duke Dalton first time uh, first uh, when I first saw Duke's Dalton I thought he was Ed Farhead, uh, not Ed Farhead. I thought he was the Grand Wizard. Because he looks like the origi the Grand Wizard of Wrestling, and that's why I gave him the nickname of Dukes the Wizard Dalton, because he looks like the Grand Wizard. So it's four... Four matches... Um, Billy Bex and Chase Del Monte, Kenny King and Lo and Low Key. So we got to throw in Rob Echoes and Billy Bex talking about Chase Del Monte. Um, uh, 
You think, uh... Momentum in the world. And then we move to Chase versus Billy Bex. Now I know that promo from Billy Bex and Rob Echoes sucked. Because <laughs> it was one of those, oh, you think this, uh, you know, but Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know it was mediocre, but not many people in this company are that good at talking, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm doing this to push the, uh, one of the feuds, uh, Loki and Kenny King. The Rich mentions that Carino will make his chaotic wrestling Debut next week, and it's clear he is watching next month. Loki versus Kenny King. Um, twelve minutes, fourteen minutes, and I think I'm going to go this route. DQ. blame him for not wanting to put him over. Um, how do I do this match? How do I do this match? Um, well, you know what? I'm going to go with what I wanted to do in the first place and do it like that. And then I'm just going to protect him Because of what comes after. Low key, Monster Mac. As you can see, even when I lose. I really still win.
God. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> oh man. Loki. I mean, I don't know why I keep picking Loki. Kenny King. Paladino goes over the tournament and how King Del Monte got here. Now, I will, you know, be, you know, brutally honest that I have in the past, uh, I have had Chase Del Monte in the past, in a past season, I mean. And I've obviously, you know, employed Kenny King and, um, stuff like that, but never have I ever, number one, willingly booked a comedy match, and number two, never have I ever really, like, I've been playing this season, this game, for... Combining it with TW13, I've been probably playing it for a good four years, five years. I have never booked a main event where one person's popularity is 10 and the other person's popularity is 9 or 8. I've never had so much of a gap in between people with popularity. Now, do I know as a small company that's expected and that's how it should be? Where, you know, Loki is one of the top people in the company, and his popularity is at, the tw as, at 24. Yeah, I, I know that's, that's what it's supposed to be, and I know that's expected, because you can't have people highly popular in a territory like this, because, well, you know, simple, you're gonna go into business then. But, well, you know, when I, when I said that this, this, series was special and different and unique, I legitimately meant it because, plain and simple, I've never done anything like this before. I've never, in all the time that I've spent playing TW, actually booked a company like this where getting an 18 was an acceptable rating. It's funny. Um... Well, number one, I'm going to try and change the booking of the product placement of the territory where I don't have to have a comedy-based match. Um, but it's funny, I saw a WWE show where the women on the show got a 9, and now I have my show where I got a 9, because Billy Bax got an 11, and Adam Booker got a 6. Thank God Billy Bax is going to be in a tag team. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, let's move on. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why you picked the winners of the tournament. That's why you picked the winners. Let's just say Kenny King won. Because also looking at it, Rob Echoes was visibly tired by the end of the 10 minutes. So... It's kind of tough to justify Rob Echoes advancing in the tournament. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hope, I pray, I at least gain something from this show. Because, oh my god. A nine? And I let him win the title? <laughs> oh my god. Not terrible with the, with the promo, compared to other shit on this show. Chase Del Monte. Chase did a lot better 
um, in that match with Billy Bax, as did Billy Bax, actually. Uh, Billy Bax got an 11 in his last match, and now is up to a 15. And Chase, I don't remember, but I know it was very low in his first match against um, uh, Mike Krull. So, because I know Mike Krull did better. I mean, it's possible that Chase got an 11 as well. But either way, we move to this next segment where Rich Palladino announces that Steve Carino will be making his Chaotic Wrestling debut next month and is no doubt watching tonight's tournament to crown the fir- the new Chaotic Wrestling World Champion. Speaking of that, Kenny King loses, I mean defeats, Low key by accidental disqualification by disqualification, and that is be- and over the next few months, you know we'll, you'll be finding the explanation by next and there next month you'll be finding the explanation as to why Low key got himself disqualified in the world title tournament instead of trying to win the world title. And this actually gives an indication as to why Loki got himself disqualified. Partially because now his buddies here hit one of his best friends in Monster Mac. And as you can tell, Mac and Key are a tag team and will be going up against the Briscoes in the coming months. Now, now Rich Palladino goes over the tournament and how King and Del Monte got in the finals of the tournament that you're about to see. And it is official with the diamond cutter, Chase Del Monte becomes the new Chaotic Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Wow. <laughs> um, I just want to explain two things. Number one, um, well, I did not know about the attractive woman thing because there is only one woman on the roster when you start, and that's Lacey. Um, so I did not know that there is an attractive, you know, uh, something penciled in there with that um I may or may not get rid of it because of the fact that there's only one woman so you can't really sit here and tell me that that <clears throat> excuse me you can't sit here and tell me that uh women are a main, uh, are meant to be a main part of the show you can't sit here and tell me that because if there's only one woman on the one, one woman on the roster why are they you know why are they such an important part of the show or how are they a, such an important part of the show um i also know with the fact that one match got a 9 another match got a 12 or two ma- uh, and another segment got a 12 that is pretty hard to justify that it's pretty hard to justify gaining popularity on this show but the other thing I want to point out is the production value, the live event experience level, broadcast quality, and music and production. The reason why those are not touched is because of the fact that I'm not on, I'm not airing anywhere. I'm basically closed circuit, only available to the people at the Mohegan, the Mohegan Sun Cabaret Theater where 344 people saw the show. The reason why is because I'm a small company. Number one, I would only be able to get on local television anyway. And number two, at this point, I'm not sure that I can afford having weekly television. So that's why I'm going to stick with monthly TV instead of weekly TV. That's number one. uh, The third thing is that I'm not surprised that I lost popularity. Disappointed? Yeah. Yeah. But this just means I come back next month and do a little bit, try and do a little bit better. 
But also, here's the thing, that this relaunch of Chaotic Wrestling actually comes out of somewhat laziness because I did a little bit of research and Chaotic Wrestling never went out of business, never closed its doors. They've been in business for the last eight for well at this point the last six years but in real life they are still in business and still thriving to this day in real life um so i don't really know why there is no title history in 2005 and why there is no title uh champions crown now but i can tell you this that as far as the ch no champions now it is good for me because it lines up better with me being able to completely relaunch the company and bring in a new era of chaotic wrestling and though this is not exactly the best way to build momentum you got all got to start somewhere cuz this is the first time i'm booking a company like this where, once again, like I said, certain ratings that are acceptable here aren't acceptable everywhere. And with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below if you think a 16 final rating is a little bit too tough and it should have been a little bit better, or if you think some segments were rated a little harsh. Let me know down in the comment section below. But if you don't want to leave a comment, you can always leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. And before you go, don't forget to leave, uh, don't forget to ding dong that notification bell to always know when a new video comes up on Wrestling Express. Till next time. Later.